In this video, I'm going to show you how to compute the mean and the variance for a probability distribution. The mean mu and the variance sigma squared. So in the lower left here, in the yellow, I have a list of possible values of x. In this case, x can only have the values 0, 1, and 4. And then the probabilities associated with each one of those values of x. So there's a 0.25 or 25% chance of 0, a 0.25 chance of 1, and a 0.5 chance of 4. It is a probability distribution, so I have all the values of x and the probabilities associated with each, and the sum of those probabilities then will be 1. So to compute the population mean, what we'll have is the sum of each x, but instead of adding them up and dividing by the number of them, since we have probabilities, we'll multiply each value of x by its corresponding probability. And we could say divide by n, but that's always going to be 1. It's the sum of the probabilities would be in the bottom. So we just can leave it like this. It's the sum of each x multiplied by its corresponding um, probability. So x prob times the probability of x. So in the first one, it's 0. That's 0 times 0 0.25. And then 1 times 0 0.25. And then 4 times 0.5. And the sum of all of that is equal to 2.25. And that is the mean of this probability distribution. Again, I just took each x, like in the first one, 0, times its corresponding probability, 0.25, got that. Then 1 times 0.25 is 0.25. Then 4 times 5, 0.5, is equal to 2. Then add those up, 0 plus 0.25 plus 2, and that will give you the population mean for a probability distribution. So to get the variance, remember, you're going to take individual values and subtract the mean. So we'll start with x sub i minus mu. So our mu is 2.25, and our x's are over here. So 0 minus 2.25 is minus 2.25. And then 1 minus 2.25 is minus 1.25. And 4 minus 2.25 is 1.75. So those are just our deviations. Now since they're weighted here, you can't just add these up and get 0 like our normal problems. Well, there is a way, but you, um, have, you have to weight by probabilities. But remember when we have the deviations, we're going to compute the variance, that the next thing we're going to do is square the deviations. So I'm going to have 5. 0 0.0625, 1 0.5625, and 3.0625. So that's just minus 2.25 squared, minus 1.25 squared, and 1.75 squared. And so then the next thing you have to do is you weight each one of these squared deviations by the corresponding probabilities over here. So this is sort of our surrogate for sample size over here. It's just we really we have twice as many fours as we do the each of the other numbers. So we have x sub i minus mu. So we have x sub i minus mu times the corresponding probability. So 5.0625 times 0.25 will give me 1.265. I'm going to go ahead and carry this out. I actually have this on my on the spreadsheet too. But I'm going to carry it all the way out here. And then 1.5625 times 0.25. And we'll call these by these is going to be point. 390625 and then 3.0625 times 0 0.5 is 
one, two, five. And actually this sum is going to be the variance. It's 3.1875. So the variance is equal to the sum of the squared deviations weighted by their probabilities. And in this case, that is 3.1875. I won't do it now. Well, I, I guess we can. Um, but if you want to get the standard deviation, then you just take the square root of the variance. And so we'll have that come, would come out to be 1.78, I'll round out, 1.785 would be the standard deviation. And that's how to compute the mean, the variance, and the standard deviation for a probability distribution.